The decision to extend Russian military drills in Belarus was confirmed by the Belarusian Minister of Defense. Above all, they are aimed at preventing war. And our presidents often talk about this when they meet. We don't want war, but they don't hear us or don't want to listen to us. That's why a relevant group of troops has been created that will give an appropriate response if necessary. The joint drills began on February 10th. It is unclear how long the Russian troops will remain in Belarus. Meanwhile, the Belarusian independent TV channel based in Poland, Belsat, reports that a pair of nuclear-capable bombers have been positioned in Belarus to patrol the skies over the region. Both the US and NATO members have expressed concern about the extension of the Russian military drills. Lithuanian Foreign Minister Gabrielis Landsbergis is calling for more sanctions against Belarus. Uh, we have to be very specific about the cost for current buildup for, for Belarus. The very low-hanging fruit is the loopholes that were left after the fourth and fifth uh, sanction packages imposed uh, by European Union. Uh, we're seeing that those loopholes are in uh, some specific sectors, uh, namely oil and, and potash. We believe that um, they could be uh, as part of a sixth package or uh, at least an addendum to what was uh, ad adopted before. U.S. experts believe the military drills have been extended with one goal in mind, to provide the Russian military with a third front against Ukraine. And I think it's unquestionably the case that they are there now to provide Russia with another front against Ukraine should it decide to move, and particularly should it decide to, keep, to take Kyiv. Belarus's involvement in this current crisis is not surprising, says analyst David Kramer. I think what we have seen um, for a long time, but particularly in the past few days, as Alexander Lukashenko has completely surrendered Belarus's sovereignty and territorial integrity to Russia. Uh, this has been going on for a long time because it's Lukashenko's only way to stay in power is to give in to Putin and demands from the Kremlin. And so the announcement on Sunday to extend the exercises in Belarus indefinitely solidifies the control that Putin has over Lukashenko. Meanwhile, in Belarus, for the first time in many months, demonstrators were protesting Russian meddling in Belarus politics. Maxim Moskalkov for VOA News, Washington.